Good morning, SHS. Today is Friday, August 18th. My name is Tyler Dickerson, and you're watching My Morning Jacket News. Crown Club is a project through Junior Auxiliary. It is a service organization made up of ladies in their freshmen through senior years of high school. The club serves the community in order alongside the women of Junior Auxiliary to benefit the children of Octavahaw County. They commit to complete 15 service hours throughout different service opportunities as well as attend monthly meetings. If interested, please see your counselor. School pictures for students and faculty will be October 11th starting at 8 o'clock. Senior portraits will be October 25th through 26th at 8.30. Makeup for senior portraits, faculty, and students will be November 28th at 8.30. The 2016-2017 Yellow Jacket yearbooks are in. Please see room 100 if you did not get yours. A limited number of extras is available for $60. The August-September ACT workshop has been rescheduled for October 14th and 21st due to the lack of registered students and the lack of time for late registrations. Anyone interested in auditioning for the fall competition show or joining Thespians will meet along with parents Tuesday, August 22nd at 6 p.m. Please contact Ms. Pate for more information. The robotics team kick off their season on Saturday at Raspit Flight Lab. There will be a French Club interest meeting August 23rd at 7.50 in room 221. Please contact Ms. Morgan for more information. And now to Joe Pool with sports. The Jackets take on Knox Speed and Knight at Macon. The game starts at 7 p.m. Wear your favorite jersey to support the Jackets. The JV Volleyball team travels to Brandon on Saturday for a tournament. The Cross Country team will participate in Hina Pote Run for Education on Saturday, August 26th. Tryouts for the bowling team will be held September 7th. The bus will leave from the tennis courts at 4 p.m. For more information, call Coach Philem Lee at 662-312-7575. Bring completed physical and permission form. Catch us next time for the latest news in the Jacket Nation.